26th of 26th of February 2013 unless the whole body and mind we need to meditate to detach our daily life if there is strong attachment to our daily life we cannot meditate we cannot keep precept making donation keeping precept and practicing meditation can reduce wrong understanding and attachment if we do not make dana donation if we do not keep precept if we do not meditate wrong understanding and attachment will be increasing the the more we value in keeping precept and practicing meditation there will be less and less attachment in our daily life time and situation are always changing because there is strong attachment to the pleasant time and situation we cannot understand what we cannot see and what we cannot hear we must meditate to become less and less attachment to the pleasant time and situation if there is attachment there will be wrong understanding if we pay more attention to the outside appearance we will know little about the mind close your eyes and relax the whole body and mind don't think about what you understand just think about right understanding we must meditate to be free from wrong understanding and attachment all our knowing and not knowing come from wrong understanding we believe what we know and we believe what we don't know if we are not knowing we believe that not knowing it is because of wrong understanding if we accept wrong understanding there will also be attachment what i am teaching is about right understanding by using right understanding trying to abandon wrong understanding grasping use is wrong we must we must not grasp what we are doing we must not grasp doing of other people also grasping to the experience is also wrong grasping to knowing and not knowing is also wrong with this right understanding we must try to abandon paying attention to the action to the results and to knowing and not knowing we all are doing what we can do no action must not be grasped we all are experiencing what it can happen all happenings are to experience only must not be attention to whatever happens knowing and not knowing will happen in our mind naturally we must abandon to ab- we must try to abandon pay attention to knowing and not knowing attention cause attachment the more we pay attention to something there will be more attachment to something the more we take care to someone there will be there will be more attachment to that one paying attention is mental action 
we must try to abandon that mental action. Instead of paying attention to the pleasant time and pleasant situation, just pay attention to Buddha and his teaching. Just pay attention to keeping preset and practicing meditation. We are unable to do without attachment. That's why we must change our attachment from other people and ourselves to Buddha. From daily work to keeping precept and practicing meditation. There may be attachment to doing good deeds. But we must try to detach to other works except doing good deeds. Because of attachment, there is wrong understanding. If there is less and less attachment, there will be less and less wrong understanding and we can know to the job what we are doing in the right way with wrong understanding daily jobs are necessary everything is important it is because of wrong understanding with right understanding everything is to use only to experience only not to grasp not to attach to use only, to know only. In the beginning of doing good deeds, there will be attachment in doing good deeds. By accepting attachment to the good deeds, we must try to detach to other works. Our daily life and life of a yogi are quite different. Our daily work and doing good deeds are quite different. By accepting attachment to doing good deeds and detest to daily work, if there is no attachment to the daily work, then trying to detest to doing good deeds. Using wrong understanding and right understanding are quite opposite. We must try to understand the different time practice. If we are unable to do good deeds, we have no choice and we must do our daily work trying to use right understanding, to be using only. If there is like and dislike, there is attachment. If there is wrong understanding, we must try to detach to wrong understanding. If there is right understanding, we must also try to detach to right understanding. Not to grasp as something just to use only. If there is right understanding, there will not be wrong understanding. If there is wrong understanding, there will not be right understanding. Poor understanding are to use only, to experience only. Normally we are using with attachment. What we must do now is to detest to your understanding and to right understanding. Now you are dealing with right understanding. What you must do is to detest to right understanding. To use only, to experience only. Must not think as reality. Must not think as something. Trying to be free from Liking and disliking. Trying to be free from 
misunderstanding as something or someone. All living beings are to use only, to experience only. Traditionally, we are using with wrong understanding as I and other people. Don't think about our mind and body. Don't think about our life. Don't pay attention to mind and body. Just pay attention to right understanding. Mind can deal with everything. Mind can also deal with right understanding. Trying to love right understanding. To use only, to do only, to experience only, to know only. Which are the truth concerned with all the created truth. We love ourselves. It is we are loving to the created truth. Trying to love right understanding. To use only, to do only. Be mindful not to grasp your mind and body. Trying to abandon grasping habit. Trying to use your mind freely. Because of attachment in using our mind, it is difficult to use right understanding. By paying attention to right understanding, trying to detach to all the created truth. Knowing with attachment and knowing with wrong understanding and attachment and knowing without wrong understanding and attachment are quite different. Now we are knowing about the created truth with wrong understanding and attachment. We know about ourselves with wrong understanding and attachment. With right understanding and attachment. We can understand the truth of no I, no you, not something, not someone, but ever new impermanent nature. This practice especially intends to be less and less attachment. Strong attachment you can understand only about the created truth. With attachment you can know about yourself, you can know about your body, you can know about your mind. But you cannot know about the impermanent nature and permanent nature. You cannot know about the original truth or ultimate truth. We are interested in original truth, but we are not interested to be less attachment. That's why it is difficult to understand about the original truth and full noble truth in the right way. Wrong understanding will know everything in the wrong way. Wrong understand wrong understanding will know about the original truth in the wrong way. Attachment cannot know about itself. If there is attachment, if there is attachment to yourself, you will understand about yourself, not about your attachment. If there is attachment to the method, how to practice, you can understand about, about the method, this method or that method. You cannot understand your attachment concerned with the attachment, concerned with the method. Wrong understanding cannot understand about itself. If there is wrong understanding, you will know about someone or something 
by using right understanding, make your mind to be free from wrong understanding and attachment. Just to practice only, just to do only, must not think as reality or something or someone, not to like and dislike, just to do only. We must, we must meditate, but we must not pay attention to doing and not doing, practicing and not practicing. We must meditate with right understanding. Right understanding is concerned with Buddha. Right understanding know about Buddha and his teaching clearly. There are a lot of attachment in us. It is because of wrong understanding. Wrong understanding is the cause of attachment. That's why to be free from attachment, to be detachment, we must change our understanding, replace wrong understanding with right understanding. If you change your action, your life will also change. Using right understanding is also changing our mental action in this way. Our life will also change. There is cause, there will be effect. No cause, no effect. If you are using wrong understanding, your life will be the same as before. Thinking about who we are, what we are doing, is grasping grasping habit. Just pay attention not to stop doing good deeds. If we can do endless good deeds, there will be endless good results. Our future depends on how we do good deeds at the pleasant time. If you do good deeds as you like, you are using with desire. In this way, you will never be free from desire. Don't think about our own desire. Trying to detach to our desire and continue doing limitless good deeds. Trying to do necessary good deeds. If you cannot meditate, meditation is necessary for you. If you cannot meditate in the right way, it is necessary to try to practice in the right way. If we do like this, we will be able to do all good deeds. When we do good deeds, Abandoning unnecessary physical order and mental action are also necessary. Most of, most of the action, physical order and mental actions are because of our habits. Because we used to do like this. If we accept our habit, we are accepting the idea of I or someone. Not to think about ourselves, to be no idea of I, it is necessary to abandon our habitual actions. There is attachment and wrong understanding in all our habitual actions. Trying to abandon this action can be less and less wrong understanding and attachment. Because of wrong understanding, it is difficult to understand about the original truth 
or ultimate truth or full noble truth. If there is no, if there is less wrong understanding or no wrong understanding, there will be, there will be a right understanding and right understanding or originate wisdom will appear and it is easy to understand the original truth. We must try to lose wrong understanding and attachment. If there is no wrong understanding and attachment, right understanding and detachment will appear. Because we are unable, we do not lose our wrong understanding and attachment. That's why we don't know real right understanding and real detachment. You need to meditate. You need to follow this way and that way. Besides, you need to understand like this. If right understanding is leading you are Asian. Because of right understanding, there will be right mindfulness, right effort, right concentration. It is sure. If there is wrong understanding, you will pay attention only to the created truth. There is angry, there is anger, there is greed, there is doubt, there is hatred. It is because of attachment to the created truth, attachment to our mind, attachment to the body. We must try to detach to the mind and body, to the life. In this way, there will be no anger, no hatred, no doubt, no worry, no fear. Because of wrong understanding, we don't know about detachment. If we can use attachment in the right way, there will be detachment power. We are using attachment in the wrong way. That's why attachment becomes more and more stronger. We are using wrong understanding in the wrong way. That's why wrong understanding became stronger and stronger. If we can use wrong understanding in the right way, right understanding will appear. Don't think about right understanding and wrong understanding. Trying to use in the right way. You cannot understand about right and wrong understanding and attachment and detachment because we are using wrong understanding trying to use our life freely because of attachment to worldly activity we cannot do good deeds if we can detach to worldly activity it is not difficult to listen to Buddha to meditate, to keep precept, to make donation is not difficult. For all activity, we have to use our mind and body. We have to use our life. Life is useful for all activities. Because of attachment to some of the activity, it is difficult to meditate. It is difficult to learn Buddha teaching. It is difficult to understand Buddha and his teaching because we are more interested in normal people. It is attachment. Attachment to normal people can understand only about normal people. Our attachment is our real enemy. That's why it is necessary to be free from attachment. Wrong understanding is the cause of attachment. That's why 
we must we must use our mind for right understanding. You can make donation by yourself. You can keep precept by yourself. You can meditate by yourself. But it is difficult to understand, to know right understanding by yourself. That's why we have to learn Buddha teaching to be right understanding. The original truth is beyond our intelligence, beyond our understanding. That's why to know the original truth, we must rely on Buddha and his teaching. If we read about Buddha teaching, we may experience it is difficult to understand and difficult to believe. It is because of it is because we are grasping to the pleasant situation. We are grasping to our intelligence. We are grasping to what we are seeing now, what we are hearing now. It is because of attachment to the pleasant time and situation. Our intelligence is grasping to the pleasant time and situation. That's why when we read about Buddha, we compare with the pleasant situation. That's why it is difficult to understand and difficult to believe. If there is no attachment to the pleasant time and situation, if our mind is free, it is not difficult to understand and to believe. That's why understanding and not understanding, believing and not believing, is not concerned with Buddha teaching. It concerned with our attachment and wrong understanding. We are misusing our mind and body. That's why we cannot understand Buddha and his, his teaching in the right way. That's why we must try to be free from wrong understanding and attachment. Teaching is over now. Let's share our merits. May all merits we have ten day now be dedicated to all sentient beings. May all beings rejoice and share in our merits. Sigh.